Hello, welcome to the garden. I'm here with the tomato trellis that I made. Now I want to share it with you. <clears throat> Real simple to get started. What it is, I use these posts. I did this before when I made another trellis. But you put these posts in the ground as long as you want it to be. <clears throat> and uh, what I do is put the post in, dig a hole first. Because you're going to need to put this in at least two and a half feet. All right? So dig a hole, get it started, get it down, and start hitting it. You know, once you dig the hole, it'll be here. You can tap it in. Go take a look at that. Okay, so what I did is, on the poles, drilled the hole three inches from the top, measured down four feet, because that's how wide the, the fencing is, the wire fence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, we got to get this started. Right in here. We're ready to go. Now, once you have those poles up, you're going to cut your wire to the length you made it, all right? And you start on one end, and you put the wire up, temporary, and then you come to the other, move your ladder, come to the other end, get it up there, because once it's up there, now you can maneuver. And the ends, I wrap it, and then use the, use the wire itself to tie it. Go take a look real quick. And yes, you know, I have this is the wire I use. You're gonna need some cutting tools and something to twist the wire. So uh, you know, I'm just I had the wire there, so I used that. You can use something else, even wire ties. Uh, Alright, so once you get it up, you see that? The wood's there, I have it tied, <coughs> I wired it pretty good along the bottom and everything. Take a look real quick. You know, remember, we have two growing seasons. So I'm planting tomatoes now. Underneath, I have all this for the fall garden to grow something. Now, my favorite thing, when it's all done, is this. You get your tomato cage, right? And this is a regular tomato cage. I just added the welding wire on top to give it a little bit more height. But, you know, for any age, all you need to do is, look, push this down now, and basically this is it. You're going to get a zip tie and zip tie it to here. It's not going anywhere. You don't need any stakes. I'm going to be a senior soon. Well, maybe tomorrow, right? I'm getting older. But uh, it's easier in the garden when you are there be enough stuff to do planting and everything putting up your cages you want to make it simple as possible hey let's go look at the other cages now these I use for my sandwich tomatoes as you see they're in the ground and uh, let's go look at the other cages the six foot cages hey now we're here with my six foot cages okay as you see the tomatoes are in it's time but what I did here is when I'm not growing the tomatoes in the fall growing season, 
there won't be cages here so I can grow stuff in between but I also wrapped the poles there's three poles on this one with wire so in the fall put seeds at the bottom utilize the trellis all right now again remember what I was talking about my favorite thing that's why I did this because now every year it's easier and easier just to put the tomatoes in if they're in the ground look this is it right here here and a zip tie right here on top all right you can put as many as you want i'll put a couple probably two or three but that's it it's not going anywhere all i want to do is share what i did for myself to prepare when i get older a senior we're all going to be there no matter what age you are even if you're younger and you don't want if you had something like this look how easy it is to put the cage up it's not going anywhere yeah it shakes good it's a tomato trellis hey thank you for joining me don't forget to hit like there's definitely more videos coming and guess what there's going to be a chicken coop hey from gino's garden ciao baby yes sir re let's put some more zip ties on this uh-huh Oh, that was too easy. <laughs>